this is gonna be like a very candid conversation. This is unscripted. I don't know how long this is gonna be, but throughout me talking, it'll be behind the scenes footage over top of me talking that has never been seen anywhere. So whether you wanna watch this, listen to it, it should be interesting and very insightful for anybody who is either shooting music videos constantly or anybody who's thinking about getting into music videos. Every time I go live on Instagram or YouTube or I attend events, I'm speaking at conferences, I run into people who ask me and their questions are somewhere along the lines of, I'm in a small city, I'm looking to get more clientele, shooting music videos, what are the things that I should do to get the clients? And aside from the typical advice that I do give people, I always follow it up at the end with, you probably shouldn't shoot music videos. And it, it throws people off. And I kind of just want to talk about that and talk about the music video space, being someone who films, edits, directs in 2023, why I think that the majority of people should not shoot music videos and where I currently am in the music video space and where I plan to go forward with shooting music videos on this YouTube channel and just my overall career as a whole. The reason why uh, music videos are so great, let's start with that, is because they allow you to be very expressive and free when it comes to creativity. You don't have to follow traditional means of filmmaking, no storytelling if you don't want to. I mean, it's very accessible. You know, you can basically scoop your phone up right now, go scoop up a vintage camera, whatever you have access to, and just go film somebody performing a song in a cool stylistic way. And I think that in itself is very freeing as a creative person. You don't have to follow narrative uh, structure. You don't have to uh, film 180 degrees over somebody's shoulder for dialogue um, if you don't want to. You know, obviously these are things that you can implement into your videos, but you don't have to do any of this stuff. You really just throw up a flashlight over top of somebody and film a crazy rocky shot like the last music video I did. But I think that's cool, it's freeing. It allows you to express yourself and, and practice cinematography in the way that you want to, right? Um, and I think beyond creativity, Music videos just aren't the play financially. If you want to be a financially stable creative who can continuously do this for a long period of time, I don't think music videos is the way to do that. And I think that it is possible, obviously, yeah. But I think that is getting less and less possible for a lot of people to do it for uh, one huge reason. And I think that that is monetization on both ends, right? As a videographer, you often hear us talk about how rappers don't want to pay, musicians don't have a lot of money, they want us to do all of these different things, and they don't have the money to compensate us for the amount of creativity and effort and time that we're putting into their projects. But I think one thing that creatives on our side of the fence, the directing side, the shooting side, the editing side, the coloring side, don't really think about is monetization. We are in two totally different fields monetization wise. We're both artists. You as the director for the music video and also the musician as an artist, but the way that we monetize our art is drastically different. Like think about it. You as a creative person, a director, editor, colorist, whatever you are in this field, you monetize on a project to project basis, right? And typically what you do is you equate the amount of work that you're about to input into a creative project to how much you want to get compensated for it, right? So if you want to work for 12 hours or a whole day, you know the video is going to take you however long to edit it. You got this amount of gear. It's going to take you this amount of money to pay crew, help, whatever. You come up with the sum for the project, and that's what you typically get paid for. But as a musician, it's so hard for you to monetize, right? Musicians can't really pay us in an adequate rate to the amount of effort that we're inputting into the creative project the majority of the time because it's so hard for musicians to monetize. If you're not a mainstream artist who has a label backing you, has an insanely huge fan base, or has monetization options outside of that's like tours and merch, it's insanely hard for you to monetize music. Before I shot this video, I just went on uh, Google and just did a random search like how much do streaming services pay an artist per stream? And it's literally less than a cent. You have to get so many streams on your music to get even a substantial amount of money back to invest into the craft of being a musician. You also have to pay for studio time. You have to pay for photography. You have to pay for media presence. It's so many different things that musicians have to pay for 
And these artists that the majority of us directors on the lowest scale are working with are just trying to get their foot in the door just like we are. And I'm not trying to side with musicians here. I'm just trying to open up our eyes as creative directors that we don't really think about the fact that artists don't have the amount of money to pay us. If we want to get paid $5,000 for a music video, a musician who's just trying to get their name out there does not readily have that available to them. Unless they're doing some illegal stuff, which I work with a lot of artists who do that as well. But when you work with artists who are selling drugs or hustling or doing whatever they're doing, it's no knock or no shade to them. Most of the time, their business isn't as solidified as it should be. They don't have any knowledge in the business side. So they're going to slack off. They're going to come late. They're going to uh, request a lot of over the top stuff. So it's a fight on both sides of the fence, right? We want to get paid and artists want great quality video. But most artists that we're working with just have regular jobs. Think about how crazy it would be if you worked a nine to five on top of the rent that you got to pay, on top of the car payment that you got to pay, on top of the bills that you got to pay, to then come out of your pocket $1,500 to $2,000 for a video. Like, that's insane for the majority of people, right? Artists just can't pay us because they aren't making money off of the stuff that they're making, right? They aren't making money off of the songs. So it's very hard for them to be able to pay us and like I said, this is not me signing with the artists because they are artists who are also just ignorant to how much time that we have to put into the creative side of creating music videos. They don't understand that our camera costs two, three thousand dollars with the lens that costs another twelve hundred with this subscription to Premiere that costs 50 a month. And then we got to pay for the Apple Mac Studio and that costs another six thousand. And, you know, so a lot of artists also aren't knowledge on that side of videography as well they're just ignorant so they don't understand how much time goes into it a lot of them just think that we got a 500 dollars camera we go home we drop it into an editing program and they just chop itself up they think that the little effect where you cut through somebody's eye and you mask it through and it blows through their eyeball and they do all this crazy stuff they think that stuff happens instantaneous like they just don't really know it's a battle and I think that that in itself is the biggest reason why it's not worth it to shoot music videos for the majority of people. And I know a lot of people are looking at me like, oh, well, you shoot music videos and you shoot a lot of them. But what you got to realize with me and the difference between me and a lot of beginner creators is that I also monetize this content that you're seeing right here. I make way more money off of the YouTube video than the music video itself. I really don't even make money shooting music videos, to be completely honest with you, when it comes to comparing the percentages of how much a YouTube check is and how much the check is for a music video. It's literally minuscule, it's like this small. And I'm also investing my own money into a lot of these projects to make them bigger so that the YouTube content is bigger so then I make more money on that back end. So I have other monetization strategies when it comes to making music videos. That's the reason why I make them. I enjoy them, I think they're cool, and I think the reason why a lot of people wanna make it shooting music videos is because they're fun. And you don't have to do the traditional film style. You don't have to learn what you have to learn in uh, film school. You can just pick your camera up and go be creative and throw crazy effects on videos. I think it's cool. But when it comes to monetizing, when it comes to building a solid business, this ain't it. I don't think this is it in 2023 for 98% of people who are shooting music videos. It's possible, yes. If you get in, if you get your foot in the right door, if you get your foot on the right set, you get your foot on the right production team who does music videos all the time, like Blank Square Productions. Or like Even my homie Jerry does incredible music videos and gets paid a ton of money to do so. The majority of people are not finna be in those exact same rooms with those people. It's not impossible, but the probability is so small. And I think that the majority of creators who are trying to get into this, who want to build a substantial business that's solidified, you should probably get into commercial work or you should probably get into shooting sports content for agencies or you should probably get into um, working with foundations. And you know why this is? It's because they already have a monetization strategy for the content that they're paying for. A business is usually using the content that you're making for them to make more money. They already have a flow going, the money that's coming in. Working with a musician, they probably don't have no flow of money. They just doing it to get their foot in, in the game and get their name out there. They making less than a cent for a stream. Like, think about it. A lot of artists don't got the money to pay us, but businesses do. But sports agencies do. They got grants. 
They have sponsorships. They have a lot of money coming in. They have the money to pay us to pull up to film an event. They have the money to pay us to pull up to create a commercial that's gonna get them more leads on their business. Like, this is the reason why I think that a lot of beginner creators who got their camera right now and they're looking to build some substantial financial stability for themselves, shouldn't shoot music videos. I don't think it's the play. I think music videos cool, they fun. We all like them, we all love music. We all grew up around music. We all wanna create the music videos that we saw on the TV when we were growing up. But in 2023, the way stream is going, the way monetization for artists is going, the way our equipment costs thousands of dollars, the way we got bills on our own, the way these artists can't pay us, the BS we go through working with drug dealers who get money, but they give us hell to make the music video. I don't think it's it. I really don't. I really don't think it's it for the majority of people. I'm blessed and I have other monetization strategies and opportunities outside of shooting music videos and that's why I do them. And I'm, I'm grateful to be able to provide the people who love music videos the information to be able to do it on their own with a lower budget, without the crew, without the LA and without the hubs and without all the other stuff. But man, I just, I just don't think a lot of people realize that 98% of, of y'all who were trying to do this, it ain't gonna work. It just ain't, it's just not gonna work. It's not impossible, but it's gonna be insanely hard to do. It's gonna be insanely stressful. And I think once you realize that a lot of artists aren't able to monetize on a level that we want to be compensated financially, it just ain't worth it. It just ain't worth it. But. Yeah, that's what I think about it. My future in the music video industry and in the scene though, I really don't think that my goal to be in the industry of music videos like it once was, is there anymore. And I think that went away a long time ago. I used to want to be in the industry. I used to want to make a production team or be on a production team, shoot high budget music videos and work with labels and all that sort of stuff. But the higher you go up in the chain, the less creative input that you have on the project. And I don't think that that's where I want to be. I get my true fulfillment from helping creators come up, from helping creators know that they can make stuff without all of this extra stuff and without 50 man crews and uh, gaffers and all that stuff. That's cool. Like when you got the money, you got the means to be able to do those sorts of projects. I think that that's great. But I get my true fulfillment just letting the creators who come in the game right now know that you can make cool stuff without all of this. So I don't necessarily think that my dream is there anymore to be in the industry. I do enjoy shooting music videos for artists. I do enjoy shooting my uh, intermediate music videos, but I, I don't want to be Kyle and Tilly no more. That's my guy, but I don't think that I want to do that no more. I think that's a good, a good, a good place to leave it off. I ain't saying I'm quitting music videos. I think that it's a good means and a good practice for me to keep my cinematography skills up. But um, I think in the near future, I'm gonna get more into storytelling and telling a little bit more of my own personal story and maybe even document some other people. But music videos will still be there when the song comes and I have a handful of artists that I really enjoy working with as well. And uh, traveling and seeing new scenery for music videos is always fun also. But that's where I'm at, man. Y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about this topic. Do you shoot music videos? You think music videos is the play? Did you used to shoot music videos and quit? Because I know a lot of people are like that. I would love to know what y'all think down in the comment section below. And also let me know if you enjoy candid conversation videos like this, because I can keep these coming. I got a lot of thoughts, but I always want to go over the top and do craziness when I feel like I don't even need to. I can just sit down and have a genuine conversation. But drop this video a like if you're new here. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm out, y'all. Peace.